Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am drawing a sheep skull and I'm just going to go step by step through what I kind of do in order to draw it. So firstly, I start off by doing a very light sketch of the general shape of the object that I'm looking at. And then I start defining it by putting in darker lines that I'm more happy with and I'm more sort of sure and confident that that is the actual sort of shape of the object. Then I start adding in like some small details um, such as the cracks and um, little parts where I know there's going to be further detail later um, so that I can then have a guide for what I'm going to be shading afterwards. I then add a dark shadow underneath the skull um, because I think this is the darkest area of the portrait and I just want to define the dark areas first as the skull is quite a light whitish colour um, and I don't want to make the skull too dark and then have the shadows being too light or whatever so I think it's best sometimes to start with the darkest values. I begin to add sort of details here and there, um, a bit more of the cracks and a little bit more of the texture of the actual skull. This just makes it a little bit more realistic so I just sit and I look at the skull and I see what kind of marks I should kind of make in order to give the illusion of that texture. Again, further defining the initial lines that I made um, of the cracks and just sort of like making them a bit more detailed. I'm not really any kind of expert when it comes to using charcoal, it's not really a medium that I often use, um, so I'm still in practice with it, so of course there is people who will know better than me and will probably maybe use it in a better way, um, but I quite like the way that this turned out anyway, despite the fact that it's kind of like one of the first sort of uses of it. This drawing was eventually used as part of an exhibition um, to do with collecting that I did a few months ago actually um, and it went really well but um, yeah and this piece was one of my favourites even though it was one of the quickest ones that I had done and again as I said it was just like an experimental thing but I really liked how it came out. So this is the final piece, thank you for watching, bye!